According to the statistics, 137.3 people are killed every hour, with another 29.7 homicides in progress. I think that paints a clear enough picture of Metropolis. Large figure statistics and guys with more bullet holes than Swiss cheese. I wouldn't go as far as saying I'm delighted about the situation, but it does keep me in business. Don't get me wrong. I'm no statistician or undertaker. I'm a private investigator. Mr. Johnson! Red, are you there? I know you're in there. Come on, open up or I'll knock this door down. It's open. Huh? Uh, all right. It's open. This is your lucky day. You're gonna hit the jackpot with this one. You know what it's like in the police department. We're up to our eyeballs in homicides, rapes, muggings. It's never ending. We haven't always got the time. To do your job. Yeah, spare me the story. I've heard it all before. This isn't the first time you've used the taxpayer's money to pay for my services. Hey, as long as the job gets done, the taxpayer doesn't give a damn who does it. All right, all right, let's get down to business. Oh, yeah. So, last night, we got a call from this old lady. Says she witnessed a murder. She saw some guy get shot on one of the bridges over Jugal Canal. Drownman's Bridge. Okay, give me your name and address. Um, I don't have them. What do you mean you don't have them? I got my feet tangled up in the telephone wire. I dropped the phone, the line went dead, and that's it. And that's it? Well, yeah. So all you've got is the name of a bridge, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Drowman's Bridge. Come on, I'll take you there. So, here we are at the crime scene. Drowned Man's Bridge. Where's the body? Has it been taken to the morgue? No, sir. Poor guy must have fallen over the railings and into the canal. Whoops, fish food. So all we've got of the victim is a trace of blood? Affirmative, detective. In other words, a whole lot of nothing. Want some advice? Take a look around the bridge, try to find some eyewitnesses. I'll go examine the bridge. I thought you were too busy to run this investigation. I uh, yes I am. But this looks like a tough one to crack, so I'll give you a hand. Well, at least to begin with. Wow, thank God you're here. What would I do without you? Damn right. You're lucky to have the experience of a real professional on this one, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah, that's for sure. Robert is one of those officers who are always busy, doing nothing. A sanctimonious civil servant with too much free time on his hands. Find him something to do and he's lost. We'll let him inspect his feet while we get on with our investigation. But where do we begin? This city is full of security cameras. I wouldn't be surprised if one of them filmed the scene of the crime. Let's take a look. I found a camera on the other side of the bridge. There's a good chance it recorded the entire crime scene. This case will be closed more quickly than I thought. But what are you waiting for? I can't reach it. What? I can't reach the camera because it's too high up. There's a ladder next to it, but I can't get it to come down. There must be some sort of mechanism to make it come down. You know, some sort of lever, handle, button, something like that. Yeah, right. I'll keep on looking.
Fred, how goes it, my friend? I didn't know you were hanging out in the neighborhood. Come to pay a little visit to your favorite informer? Have you missed me? Come on, man, admit it. I know it. I can feel it. You know I'm right. You've missed me. Hello, Saul. I... I knew it, man. I just knew it. Me too, buddy. It's good to see you again. So, how's life treating you? How's the family? Your friends? Okay? Everything cool? Actually... Stop right there, bro. There's something not right. No, not right at all. You're giving off a lot of bad vibes. Your karma's all screwed up. Let me guess. Saul. I know bad vibes when I see them, homie. You got yourself a dead body, huh? Saul. You know I'm a private investigator. A PI's always got a dead body. A body? A homicide? Riddles? A new case? I love you, bro. God damn, you know you can count on me if something's wrong. I'm there for you, man. You got a problem, some risky business, or something needs fixing? I'm there for you, no problemo. Hell, what do you think they say, smart as Saul? There's a reason why people say that stuff. I'm counting on you, Saul. I'm counting on you. If you're stuck or your brain just can't join up the dots, pay me a visit. Good tips guaranteed for two years. Satisfied of your money back. All right, Saul. I've got a problem I want to see you about. 